Well, I think that um, in terms of political forces, India seems to be uh, destined for a long era of coalition governance. The last two governments uh, each were made up of coalitions of 20-odd parties, and, and that seems to be the direction of Indian politics. You've got a couple of big national parties, uh, the Congress Party and the, the, the more Hindu-inclined BJP Party, have each got about a third of the seats and, and, and slightly less than a third of the vote. And then the remaining third is split up amongst as many as almost 40 parties in the parliament, some of which have one or two members, but which therefore exercise a great influence when coalition building takes place. Uh, I think that's likely to be the direction of Indian politics. I'm not thrilled about it. Uh, one could argue that it promotes conciliation and cooperation, but on the negative side, it also uh, means that governments are, are vulnerable to uh, the rise and fall of political temperatures and that uh, uh, an executive, unlike the U.S., can't just be elected to execute, to go out and change things for the better. It's constantly going to have to look over its uh, political shoulder at the, um, at the, the, the tastes and wishes and demands of each of its many coalition members. And that, I think, is, is a pity.